Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Revere Sky, Revere Sky's Essence. And we are going to talk about obesity, obesity, obesity. The topic of the video is obesity, psychological warfare. A lot of people are depressed. They're in deep rest, deep depression. Their souls are in deep rest, deep depression. Their spirits have been um, conquered. Their bodies are almost empty. That's right. Their lifeline is slim. Okay. When you see an obese person, the psychological problems they're going through is through chemical warfare. Okay. When you start ingesting these chemicals, you start having ups and downs. You can't think clearly, don't want to do nothing, lazy. Body can't function. Body can't breathe. Body, blood not circulating. Not eating holistic foods. There's a lot of things um, behind being obese. Not only that, obesity is just like a drunk man when he... Love to drink. He could drink 12, 24 beers. Then it start taking a toll on his body. 10, 15 years later, he drink two, two beers and can't even stand up. Liver too weak, body too weak. Can't even detox those two beers out of the system. He, the first thing he loses is circulation in his pelvic area connected to his thigh bone. Again, the first place he lose circulation is the pelvic area and the muscles connected to his thigh bones. Same with obesity. First place they lose circulation is in their legs and in their feet. The reason why I bring up this topic is because we're dealing with demons, parasites, in this seen world and unseen world. Like you got things excreting toxins in your brain and in your stomach telling you, you want more, you want this, you want that. I know, I know it. I've gone through it. And you also have parasitic entities parasitic entities from other realms they want your body they need to use your body host they want to use you as a host and they're so low vibratory that they have to bring your vibration down to utilize your body to jump in your body they're body snatchers and body jumpers and when these body snatchers and body jumpers bring your vibration down so low, then you have no control. You eat when you're not hungry. You eat because you're bored. You eat because you're lonely. You eat because you're depressed. Not only that, that's just like with alcohol. You wake up in the middle of the night, you need alcohol. You got the shakes. Now, you know when alcohol done got you to the point where you have the shakes. And if you don't, if you don't drink the alcohol, you won't forget about the shakes. Now, how is it that alcohol can have you like you a heroin addict or something? You know, food too. Food. When you detox from all the pollutants that you eat, when you detox from all the toxicity and chemicals, preservatives and fake sugars and natural flavors and all the dyes, when you actually, when you actually change from that, what really happens? You go through cold sweats, night tremors, swelling, rashes, 
acne, you have so many side effects. There is psychological warfare out here. And it's in the food you eat. Because you're not eating God foods no more. And then if you do temple, if you do tamper with foods that are not God foods, you can't live off of them. You can't sustain life off of them. You know what I mean? Especially if you're not active, especially if your brain is not strong enough to keep up with all that processing. We have to seek change. But there's going to be a lot of people that fall and perish because they feel like they can continue using the microwave. They can continue drinking fluoride water. They can continue eating. They can continue eating just ungodly foods. You know, and people say, and then what makes it so bad? If you're 350 pounds, if you're 400 pounds, and you're going to the doctor, and the doctor say, it's okay as long as you eat it in moderation. Well, doctor, what's really fucking moderation? Because when I was in the emergency room, and my blood sugar level was 1,200, and I at, and y'all hand me a menu and told me, yeah, you can eat the hamburger, but we're going to give you this metformin pill. How did that help me? Oh, just keep eating the way you're eating and believe in this pill. If you're sitting in the house with swole legs, no circulation, not moving around or walking, and then I ask you, what have you eaten this week? And you say you ate a pizza and wings last night. How are the herbs going to start assisting you? You're eating greasy cheese that clog up your stomach, your solar plexus. You're eating dough that has yeast in it and possibly plastic and soy. You're eating wings that have... Uh, hormones and probiotics in it. You're eating greasy food. You're eating food that clog your arteries. You're already 350 pounds. You don't even need any herbs. If you just eat apples and cucumbers and chickpeas and quinoa, you don't need herbs. You don't need medicine. Your body will start to adjust itself. So, obesity, the demons and the gens that lie within these people. That's right. Some of these people are soulless. And we have to hold them accountable for representing us. That's right. We have to hold them accountable for representing us. They would rather go and see a person in a white coat and take a miracle pill than adjust their life and change their ways. Just so that a gen or a demon or a low-level diva can thrive in their body. I'll give you a full example. So it's this drunkard that likes to hang around me. And uh, I'm weed eating. I didn't even know my weed eating went backwards. But I seen some, some damn, some damn third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I seen some interdimensional shit. Now he delayed. He delayed. Now if somebody weed whack me. If somebody weed whack me, I'm going to feel it instantly. He was delayed. He didn't even know he got hurt. Then all of a sudden, he just started screaming. And I seen this big old purple whips on his arm. But when he started screaming, his 
his eyes glow red amber and disappeared the eye color disappeared and i said oh my fucking goodness that was a gin so the same way you in some deep thought deep depression and that gin riding that way that gin say go get you some bill go get you some looker i'm about to jump inside of you you go do what i tell you to do go borrow money i need your body that's what they do. That's just like you're already swolled up. You already can't walk. And not once has the welfare system, the Medicare system, not once have any of them sent you a nutritional. Not once have any of them sent you a nutritional guide. You're paying all this money for medical assistance medical advice but not once has they sent you a nutritionist let me tell you something right now there's a family that's having major problems because I'm, I'm sure it's parasitic but the girl say that she been having anxiety since her mother died now I'm thinking her mother died like last month last week so she just been so stressed out and overeating that her legs swelled up to the point she don't want to walk. Then I said, wait a minute. How, how long ago your mother died? She said she died in 2016. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, it's 2022. So that's six years. And you still have this anxiety and depression. I said, I don't think your mother would want you to be living and holding on to her that long. And she has a beautiful husband that buys thousands of dollars of herbs. I mean, thousands of dollars of herbs. And she won't take them. Also, he said, will the herbs help with swelling? Will the herbs help with pain? And see, I don't really answer those questions because if you're holistically changing, you'll see the results. Okay. So I can't really answer these questions. So I asked her, well, what did you eat last night? What have you been eating? So he looked at her and he said, well, what you been eating? She said, I ordered pizza and wings and I broke it down. That's yeast. That's sugar. That's already messing with a brain. Whenever you scratch your, your head and you got a bunch of flakes and stuff, that's yeast. That's psoriasis. You know what I mean? That's parasitic. You got wings. You got cheese full of grease. Clogging up your core. Clogging up your arteries. Slowing down your heart. I say this over and over and over in my videos. If you eat sugary things, sweet things, let's say you drink a soda or you drink Kool-Aid or you drink some sweet tea that black people make. Oh, my God, I hate that tea. When, when, when black people make sweet tea, they trying to kill somebody. So you drink this sweet stuff. And what does the sugar do to the blood? The sugar thickens the blood. The same way you put sugar in your Kool-Aid and put it in the refrigerator, it thickens it. It's not watery no more, right? Just like jelly. You put sugar in jelly, it thickens it. It turns into a syrup. It turns into molasses. So the sugar thickens your blood. Then you consume a bunch of salts. Synthetic salts at that because you don't know what type of salt they put on that pepperoni and sausage. That cured meat with those uh, nitrates. Now you're eating salt. What does salt do? Salt shrivels and shrinks your veins, dehydrates your veins. So you got this thick blood that's trying to pump through your heart and pump through your dehydrated veins that are not lubricant, not wet, not flowing, not oxygenated. Now what? 
Now you can't breathe. Now your oxygen levels are low. Do you know the lady had a nerve to say, I've been with my husband 17 years and you're trying to turn him against me? I did say some weird stuff, though. But um, I was hoping that that would activate her, you know, activate her to beautify and strengthen herself, you know. And be mindful when people, be mindful when people are waiting on you hand and foot. No, no, no. The people that are waiting on people hand and foot, be mindful. Is this a toxic relationship? Is this person trying to better themselves? You have to ask those questions. Obesity come with a lot of issues. Parasites, interdimensional uh, entities, psychological trauma and depression and anxiety. It comes with a lot of problems. That's why a lot of men and women out here like men and women with great self-esteem, high self-esteem, active. Don't, don't nobody want to be around here allowing a person to do suicide or do suicidal things. And that's eat yourself to death. Don't nobody want to be around here entertaining a person that don't love themselves. That shit old, man. It's dead weight. It's literally dead weight. It's literally bad energy for the soul and the spirit of the person who watches the other person hurt themselves and harm themselves over and over and over. So, y'all be mindful of these demons that are addicted to chemicals and substances and food. Food is the biggest drug on the planet. This coffee, this sugar, these box foods, and they're all pharmaceutically regulated. Say it again, Revere Sky. All the food that we consume is pharmaceutically regulated. Until you start getting the stuff that says not FDA approved. So basically you're taking it at your own risk. But remember this, if you don't remember nothing else, your cellular structure works off of chlorophyll, not third product acid. Third product acid is meat. So if you got a person that's whimpered, down and out, and they could get food from the land like greens and beans and fruits. I'm not talking about that greenhouse stuff that grow and they spray it and spray it and spray it. I'm talking about food from the land. Green chlorophyll living foods. And an empty stomach, an empty colon, fasting, good mineral water, water that has mineral and life to it, um, good oxygen, good sunlight. You do that for a month straight and fast, there's no telling how you will achieve success in your life. There's no telling. But if you sit around here and keep clogging your arteries up, eating these fast food, they got plastics in them, and they don't know what moderation is. Okay, okay, you moderately ate the pizza and the wings, but what did you eat the whole week? You can't say. These people are low vibrational beings, and it's going to take the doctor to say, oh, you only got so long to live. You only got this to live. You need to change your ways. But not once are they going to send you to a nutritionist that's going to teach you how to eat holistically. They'll send you to a nutritionist that's going to say you can eat whatever you want. Just take this pill after or take this pill before you eat. That's the type of nutritionist they send you to. 
it's sad, but it's true. And know that when people become so obese to the point that they don't want change, something got them. Something body snatched them. Something has their mind. Something has polluted and disconnected them from the source. And they're willing to take anybody down in the process. Their own loved ones with their sickness and their polluted minds and their polluted bodies. It's sad, but it's true. Your legs swole up, your feet swole up, you barely can walk, but you're going to order a pizza and wings. That sounds like somebody that don't own their body no more. That sounds like somebody who has been chemically induced. Chemically induced to go against their free will. Because if they had free will, if they had discipline, they would be able to control their mouth, their cravings, and their just their cravings. But no. Yes, indeed. Obesity is a big deception. After so many people become obese, you think that the chemicals in the food are needed. While you got one genre of people or one era of people saying, no preservatives, no wheat, no soy, no this, no that. Because they know that these foods are altering your DNA, altering your mind and your conscience and your free will. Obesity is a big deception, okay? And I just don't get it. Like, when the, when the nutritionist at the ER told me I could eat that hamburger, just take this pill... I knew then something was wrong, meaning the lifestyle that I was enduring and enjoying brought me to a toll. Uh, Gluttony. Wanted to escape, wanted to sleep. Misery. And in that process, I had to choose. Am I going to heal myself and clean my system so I don't have to take this pill? Another thing, I tried to take that pill. I say, Mama, I can't get out of bed. But I learned something. I learned something before. I learned something before I left the hospital. When I told the lady, she was like, you okay? You okay? I done came back in here twice. You can't, you haven't got up yet. I said, I'm sleepy. I can't wake up. She checked my blood sugar level. It was too low. See, they, my blood sugar level was so high, 1,200. They had me on sugar water because they couldn't allow my brain to, the sugar to go down that fast. So I would have had fluid on my brain. So they tried me on the salt water the saltwater IV, and I couldn't wake up. I was hypoglycemic. I'm still hypoglycemic in a sense. So I have to eat a balanced diet. Let me, let me call myself trying to go to Cinnabon 7 o'clock in the evening or 9 o'clock at night eating a Cinnabon. I'll oversleep. The sugar... My pancreas will skeet out so much um, insulin to the point where it lowers my sugar level so low that I can't wake up. Like I could wake up, but my body be shaking, my body be trembling. So I had to eat like some apples and stuff to get my sugar back up. So I'm not diabetic. I'm hypoglycemic. That's why I used to overeat because I didn't know where my energy was going So if I eat some toxic foods that process sugar in the blood and in the body, my pancreas is going to skeet a bunch of um, insulin and it's going to have me shaking and trembling in the morning 
and I'm going to have to eat to regulate my low sugar, okay? Y'all know this. I know you don't want to abandon your loved ones. You're going to be there to the end, but it's hard to look at people suffering. I'm not saying all obese people are like this, okay? But after a while, after you do it so much, you can't do it no more. That's just like drugs. After you do certain drugs a while, you can't feel them no more. You get immune or they tear your body up so bad. You, you have to try a new drug because that one tore your body up so bad. It's like a heroin addict that ain't got nowhere else to poke themselves. Now they, now they using veins in their mouth and stuff. I don't know. They just, you know, that's like a cokehead can't do coke no more and had to start smoking crack, you know. It, you have to really, really sit back and evaluate the situation. You have plus-size people that eat a lot of healthy foods. Like, they just thick. They eat very nutritional. They probably just eat more. Their food probably tastes so good that they eat more. Like, when you go to, like... Uh, Jamaica and stuff. You got plus size women. They they living in them shacks. They ain't going to no store buying a bunch of Twinkies and stuff. They eating. They eating them rice and beans and plantains and you know they eat. They probably drink a lot of sweet drinks. But yeah, sweet drinks will put so much weight, unnecessary weight on you. It's ridiculous. Okay. All I can say is eat to live, don't live to eat. I have my downfalls too. But I do know for a fact, I know one guy, he's obese. But now the fat don't want to be on his stomach no more. He done created a whole new pouch right above his penis area. And it's big, it's long, it looks like a big old hanging cow dome type thing. And I said, man, when you got that? I said, when I knew you 10 years ago, you ain't had no big old cow dog in front of your stomach. What in the world? See, what happened is his body wanted to protect him. That's right. His body wanted to protect him. So the body didn't want him to put more, because men have internal fat. So the body didn't want to put no more fat on his organs. So it created a whole new pouch below his bikini line. And that thing got to be at least 40, 50 pounds, 60 pounds. And, you know, I see it a lot in obese women. I see it a lot. I got a fupa, you know what I mean? And I try to fast 24 hours and stuff at least two or three times a month. So I won't accumulate nothing else, you know. But, man, I, you know, I just don't understand. People out here eating all these synthetic foods and stuff. Like, okay, I can understand if you're a trucker or something and you're just trying to, you, you know, you're going through stuff, you know. But you're sitting all day and you, you can't really tame yourself. But, man... All these other people, they're supposed to be walking around and going to work every day and smiling and being around people. Their souls are wrecked. Their souls are wrecked. Their souls are not happy. And the fact that you can't bounce back from your mother being dead six years, man, that, that's, hurt, that's hurting your mother hearing that. That's hurting your mother. You know, I'm sure she's turning over in her grave that my daughter never actually came back to her balance after I passed away. Yeah, it's really something to think about. It's really something to think about. But all I know, sometimes we have to walk away. Sometimes we have to protect our own lives. You know, 
love can be foolish too. Love can be a burden too. That's like an alcoholic. I'm not going to keep being around an alcoholic, especially if I'm not married to you. I'm not going to be on no death do his part type stuff. And I'm not going to be around an obesity person. Like, how how does it benefit me to be around an obese person that can't get up, can't walk, can't breathe? Always hoping. Always hoping somebody come do something for them. That ain't right. That's a lunatic asylum. Chemically induced, put you in a state of being where you feel like you're normal. You're you're on the right path. You know what I mean? You ha- you you can- when you see side effects happening to your body, you're supposed to go to a clean slate. You're supposed to say, "Stop! I'm a fast." That's what hurt animals do. They fast. They go in dark places. But you're supposed to fast and start journaling what you eat. Dang, I got this rash on my arm. So let me quit eating all this stuff and then start from the basics. And you eat clean foods. You eat clean foods, clean foods, clean foods. Then when you go eat those foods that are chemically enhanced, and then you see that that eczema flare up again, you'll know what did it. And some people are so toxic and so polluted that when they eat fruits and vegetables and grains, they have so many side effects. Because their body is purging, they're like, oh, my God, no, that that tore up my stomach. How is boo-boo and tearing up your stomach? Like you have people around here say they hate to pee. They hate the boo-boo. They hate to drink water. They hate to eat salads. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And then you come to a person like me and you and you want a miracle pill. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair not one bit. I really don't. I don't think it's fair not one bit. So yeah, adjust yourself accordingly. Get you a holistic nutritionist. Someone that can guide you and influence you and inspire you to be able to adapt to nature. Because you're going to need nature. Or otherwise you're going to lose the Richter scale. You're going to lose sight of your journey. And like I say, you got a lot of empty cedars with those glowing red eyes. They can't help it. They can't help it. Like even a demon or a spirit or a gin will force you to get on a diet. Like if your body too whack and your body too slow and your body just not operating so the gin can use it, they'll put you on a diet. They'll neglect you and be like, you're going to get on this diet. I can't even walk around. I'm trying to go to the bar and be with the other gins inside the uh, body snatch bodies. And I can't even go to the bar because your fat ass, excuse my French, your ass can't even walk. We'll We'll have a problem before we even get there. Gins will body snatch just to go be with other gens, especially if your body vulnerable. And think about it. If somebody passed away in your life, nine out of 10, if you're still hurt and six years later, you died when they died. Uh, Infinite Waters always say, uh, die at the age of 21. But you think because you're 70, you living. No, a lot of people die young. They so be done. Kicked rocks. They spirit and all that be just, oops, 
Just let it run on autopilot. I don't want nothing to do with it no more. Uh, uh, which one of y'all want to swap me? Uh, they probably barter with the gins and everything, huh? You give me a way out of here, I'll let you have this body, you know? Y'all really got to get it together, you know? I know what it's like to lose weight. I know what it's like to be 135 pounds. Grown woman, 35, 135 pounds. I've been a grown woman. And I've been 135 pounds, okay? And did I like it? Yeah, I was able to do push-ups and everything, squats and everything. But we really have to realize when our bodies are compromised, when our psyche is compromised. That's why I say I can't believe you can see the level of incompetence in the United States when everybody go vote. Like, what are you voting for? You know, more imprisonment, more misery. What are you actually voting for? So there we have it. All obesity people are not having the same problems, but they're damn near borderline. And you have the opportunity to change your body is so strong. If you can hold all that weight, you can change. And know that the trauma that you're living, you can heal. Okay? You can heal. You don't have to go through that. You do not have to go through that trauma. You can heal. You can better yourself. You can attract love into your life. You can attract all types of holistic features into your life. If I could do it, you could do it. I've never been like obese, but I've been to the point where I tried to literally take myself out, I guess, to some degree. So, yeah, there we have it. Unearth the magic. The truth will definitely set you free.